welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. The show brings you game one of a big four-game set. It's the Boston Red Sox going up against the Kansas City Royals. First now, pitch coming at you right after the break. Kansas City Royals. Just about set to go now. And starting this one, Jay Mack, one of the best strikeout pitchers in the history of baseball. True legend in this game with over 300 career wins. Always a joy to watch him go to work. It's effortless out there. Doesn't wear his emotions on his sleeve. Doesn't know when he's high or when he's low. All right, ready to get underway. Now it's going to be Roger hey, Driver. You got no one. Roger Driver. The wind and the pitch. Popped up. Mine, 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 mine. Baden makes the grab. One pitch and one out. Batting second. The left fielder. Six. Time now to check out the Bill lineup Trump. for the Boston Red Sox. And a key piece, a guy having a big season for them, Marcelo Meyer. And Boog, this guy just keeps on knocking in those runners and just a big part of why this team's done so well. You've got to be able to outscore your opponent, and having a bat like his in the lineup helps you do that day in and day out. Plays at one now. Sam Beltron stands in now and lets that one go for a strike. One down. One down. Oh, and one now. There's a strike. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. 0-2 oh now. Oh. That one missed. One really ball. good take, especially two with two strikes. The 1-2. And a foul ball, he stays alive. No score, just getting started, top of the first. Stays alive. One down, base is empty. This one popped up, right side. Oh, dude, Flores it. drifts towards it, hauls it. It. it in, two away. Batting third, the first baseman, Steven Koo. Two outs, base is empty. Steven Koo up next for the Red Sox. Two down, two down. Pitch Ooh, misses inside. Back. Ball one. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. The 1 0. The other way. I go, I go. He's got it. And that is out number three. Down in order go the Red Sox. The Royals will get their chance now in a scoreless ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Luis Campusano digs in now. His righty lefty Leading splits off there. The Red Sox. The catcher. Luis Campusano. Hey, get ahead. Stay ahead right here. No outs here. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. Foul ball there. And the righty deals. 
Got him. Leadoff man retired here in the second. So he gets the call and picks up the strikeout looking. Sometimes with a good hitter at the plate, he'll be the one to get the benefit of the doubt if he lays off on a close pitch like that, but just not right there. Strike zone definitely expand a little bit with two strikes. Brandon Marsh steps to the plate. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Here comes a pitch. Good eye right there. Our umpire behind the plate, Jerry Hillsdale. High praise for Jerry when we talk to people around the game. Yeah, no doubt about it, Boog. He's very straightforward, very consistent back there. So one most down, of the time, you're not even going to think about him. That's a good thing. The pitch. And a foul ball. Singy, what kind of strike zone is most frustrating for hitters? I'd say off the plate, away, and down. And why? Those are the toughest locations to hit the baseball. Left-hand batter waits. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Flip that screwball up there and got him to swing through it. It's kind good. of part changeup, part curveball, Marcelo a reverse curveball, I guess. Meyer. And clearly it's got some good movement on it we just don't get to see a good one very often so it's kind of fun to see and that was a great one right there at the play Marcelo Meyer good contact guy good defender hey, all right here we go now first offering and it just misses two down you no score down. here in the second Next offering is in for a strike. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Ball, and a count, one and two. And that misses outside, off the outside ball. edge. Two outs. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Red Sox go down one, two, three. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. New inning getting started. Jeter hey, downs to the right plate here. here. Leading off for Boston. The second baseman. Jeter... Down. Mac back to work. That one fouled off. And he's down 0 2 oh, as he swings through it. No out. Right hander kicks deals. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Right side, Flores collects it. Tosses to first. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Batting eight. The third baseman, Otto Ferreira. Otto Ferreira, the go, next guys. to hit. Ferreira comes in fifth in the American League in batting average. Hey, one down now, one down. And he swings oh, and misses count. at the initial offering. Top of the third, no score. Oh, and two as he waves no at that ball. one. Right. Oh, 
Rolled slowly to first. McCall handles the chance, and he Got takes it. it himself for the out. Batting nuts. The right fielder, number 30, Sal Fralick. Two outs, bases empty. Here's the veteran outfielder, and Sal Fralick. I think when you contemplate him as a player, the first thing you think about is defense, and you think about that great arm. I also think about the speed. If he can get on, that's going to give one more thing for go, that pitcher to go. think about. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Ball one, no strike. Righty to the plate. There's a strike. Swing and a miss. That is strike two. The pitch. And miss struck him out. That's the third out. Red Sox go down quietly, and we're still knotted at zero. Back here at the ballpark, and stepping in is the speedy Leading Roger the Driver. The designated hitter. It's good hey, speed at the top one. of the order here. You want to get it on, Driver. see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. And that clips the inside corner. Righty delivers. Foul ball. Hey, get a strikeout for us right now, baby. Let's go. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's one down. Oh, there's a three-pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball now right now. Left fielder. Sam Beltron. Now, Sam hey, Beltron, second in the American League in hitting. Hey. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Here we go now. Let's go. Kicks and fires. Way out front for strike two. And the right hander deals. That one to first. McCall collects. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. Two up, two down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. So up next, Stephen Koo. In there, and it's 0-1. Oh, this guy is just filling up the strike zone right now. Don't want to get yourself in an 0-2 hole. You better be ready to pull the trigger on the first pitch. Next offering is in for a strike. This guy's pounding the zone. Hitters don't have time to think in between pitches. Tapped up the first base side. McCall picks it up. He takes it on his own. And that's the third out. Nothing doing for Boston. And we are still scoreless. Welcome back. We go to the top of the fifth. Now at the plate, Luis Campusano. Well, after putting up a nice the inning catcher. on offense, got Luis some runs across, this is Campusano. where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just nope. hope that he can get okay. through this inning, get the Nobody bats back up there no while they're hot. Kicks and deals. Towards first. McCall oh. takes it to the bag. One up, one down. The center field, number 16, Brandon Marsh. Now here is Brandon Marsh, ninth in the American League right in batting average. That one lifted to left. Osuna settles under this one. 
hauls it in for the out. Now batting, shortstop, Marcelo Meyer. Two outs, base is empty. And the batter will be the shortstop, Marcelo Meyer. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Mine, mine. Makes the catch inning over. Down in order go the Red Sox. Still down 3 0. All set for the start of the inning. Here's the second baseman, Jeter Downs. Leading off for the Red Sox. The second baseman, Jeter. The why to kick the pitch. There's the strike. These two offenses can put up runs in a hurry. Hey, nobody out now. Come on, guys. The wind of the pitch. Aye. That one finds the zone, and that is strike two. The pitch out there. So he's gotten deep into this game. And at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. Otto Ferreira. And stepping go, in for Let's Boston, go. Otto Ferreira comes in fifth in the American League in batting average. And first offering is fouled off. The wind of the pitch. That's in there. No balls, two strikes. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Stays alive. pitch and down on strikes he goes and there's two away maybe a little bit of overthinking at the plate right there you want to be patient with knuckleballers and not give into that pitch that's going to dart out of the zone at the very last moment but that was about as hittable as knuckleballs can get and he was frozen so stepping in for Boston Sal Fraley Here. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Hey. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Boog, that hook's looking pretty sharp today. Just a solid pitching performance so far, and I really think it's because of that curveball. Here's the 0-2. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. So he's perfect through six. Two, three, four, due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Royals three and the Reds. Back here in Kansas City, here's a speed threat. Roger hey, Driver. Nobody. The designated hitter. Roger Driver.
Matt back to work. Swing and a miss. It's 0 and 1. These guys have been very aggressive early in the Cal, but when you're down, you might want to be a little more patient. Take some pitches, see if you can extend those at bats and get some base runners on. The 0 1. On the ground, right side, Flores over to pick it up to first, and a quick out number one. The batter, the left fielder, Sam Beltran. Sam Beltran up next for the Red Sox. One out now, one out. In there for strike one. When a guy's throwing a lot of first pitch strikes no, no, no. as a hitter, you got to be ready to hit. Now, that's not going to help you get deep into his pitch count and into the bullpen, but you got to take what he's offering that day. The 01. There's a strike. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Two out. Chris, third time through the order and a couple of quick outs for the starter. Yeah, he's been very frugal today. Economical with the pitch count. Two. Two outs, base is empty. Next to hit, Stephen Koo. Get down now. Hey, get ahead right here. Swings through that one. 0 oh, 1. And the pitch. He swings and fouls one off. Oh, and 2 now. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The Red Sox still looking for their first hit in this one. To the right side, Flores gloves it. The throw to first, and that'll do it. Red Sox go down one, two, three. They still find themselves down six zip. Here at Kauffman Stadium, ready to begin the eighth. So here's Boston's cleanup hitter, Luis Campusano. Not a single base runner through the first seven innings for these guys. They've had no answer. And here it comes. Swing and a miss as he was out front. So he's back out to begin the eighth. Been a really nice outing for him so far, Singy. He's blown the ball really well. Kept hitters off balance, and he's been very efficient with there that pitch right count. Now. But at Come this on, point, even though it's been relatively low, you start keeping an eye on it to make sure that he doesn't have any fatigue and injuring himself. Next offering is in for a strike. Wind in the pitch. Switch through that one. It's a strikeout. One down. <laughs> well, 
Obviously, the knuckle ball, it's not a pitch designed to blow by hitters, but you'll see this every once in a while. You give up on that pitch at the plate, and then the last moment it darts back into the strike zone, and you're just not ready to get a swing off in time. Looks like it's 100 miles per hour, and I tell you what, I know from personal experience, it's not a good feeling. And here is Brandon Marsh. Fought off foul. Comes up empty on the swing, 0 oh, 2 now. Here we go, fellas, let's go. The Red Sox yet to pick up a hit here. No Next way. offering is downstairs. And a pitch. Yeah, there's a ball. Great job of laying off those pitches down in the zone to even the count up at two and two. Such a better feeling for the hitter. And he deals. A little bit low. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two up, two down here in the top of the eighth. <laughs> Obviously, the knuckleball, it's not a pitch designed to blow by hitters, but you'll see this every once in a while. You give up on that pitch at the plate, and then the last moment it darts back into the strike zone, and you're just not ready to get a swing off in time. Hey, Looks like it's 100 miles per hour, and I tell you what, I know from personal experience, it's not a good feeling. And now, Marcelo Meyer. And that's in there for strike one. Left hand hitter waits. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Just a bit late on that 0 1 breaking ball. 0 2 hole now. He's going to have to shorten up, tighten things up if he's going to have a good at bat. On the ground to first. The flip to the pitcher covering. Third out, and that ends the frame. Red Sox go down quietly. Still up against a six-nothing deficit. All set to start the ninth in this one. And stepping in for Boston, Jeter Downs. The second baseman. Hey, I'll tell you right now, every player defensively on their toes like never before. Matt, back to work. And that's in for a strike. They want to make sure they have the opportunity to put this pitcher in the history books. They're going to make the play.
and the 0-1. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Osuna racing over to make the catch. So digging in, Otto Ferreira. So much nervous energy all over the ballpark right now. It's palpable. You know, he's been so great today. Really just throwing whatever the catcher puts down. I mean, hasn't shaken off the catcher very much at all today. In there, and it's on one. Here comes a pitch. In there at the knees. That's strike two. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Two gone now. Well, that's a blue zone right there, or the cold zone on the hitting chart. Just doesn't have much success in that part of the strike zone. And a really good job of the pitcher executing. Try to go there as often as you can. The numbers are in your favor. So two down now, and here is Sal Fraley. And this is it. One out away from perfection. He's a guy, Chris, whose highlights include some of the best throws from the outfield that you will ever see. Definitely one of the best arms of the sport. Yeah, the infielders and the catcher can never give up on a play because if this guy thinks he has a chance, he's going to throw it from the warning track if he has to. First pitch just misses. A chance for the no-no right here. That misses the zone. Two and oh. He's one out away from a no-hitter. That misses the zone. Three and oh. I can't play around with him here. It's a six-run lead at this point. Got to attack hitters even if you give up a solo shot. Next pitch in for a strike, three and one. And the righty deals. And it's fouled away. Back to work, 3-2 now. Swing and a miss, got him! A perfect ending to a perfect game. Just unbelievable. I was nervous up here in the booth. I can only imagine what his teammates and even he felt out there on the mound closing this thing out. Everyone will remember this perfect game, and it'll be notched in Cooperstown forever.